Hi, I'm Gary Scott Beatty, and this is Publishing Comics, Episode 2, titled, We're All Friends Here. I'm Gary Scott Beatty, publisher, editor, illustrator, writer, colorist, and letterer of comic books and graphic novels. People ask, how do you make a living in comics? Well, I don't work for Marvel or DC, but I pay the bills, and publishing is all I do. In this blog, we'll look at the highs and lows of being a creative professional. I'll share some cool art and story with you. We'll talk comics, and we'll explore the answer to that question. How do you make a living in comics? Greetings from Acer and Publishing Secret Headquarters. You know, we creative people can become isolated very quickly. Creating art and writing are solitary activities, and we sometimes forget how to make small talk and be social. We need to make an effort to regularly talk to people face-to-face, -face, not just through a blog or Facebook. Why? Well, because conversation is a skill, just like drawing and writing, that needs to be practiced. The creative who can engage people at conventions and store signings is the one who will sell books. There is a career tip. Don't become isolated. Building a circle of friends with like interests is a start. Who knows, you might be able to collaborate on a comic book project. That's how I started Indie Comics Magazine. I began Azer and Publishing in 2008 to publish two full-color, done-in-one comics. Later that year, I received a Zurich Foundation grant to publish Jazz Pool Birth with Art By Me, inspired by 50s album cover design. Those three books are now available in a massive collection with unpublished art, in-depth articles, a jazz art gallery, and more. Worlds, Three Stories by Gary Scott Beatty is on Amazon and Comixology from Caliber Comics. Check the links below this video. Those three books were well received, but I knew I couldn't continue the expense of publishing alone. So I contacted every friend I'd made that was producing comics and published Indie Comics Magazine. At its core, the book was me and my friends pooling resources to publish 64 pages of the best story and art from independent comic creators. After 10 issues, I decided to reboot with Indie Comics 1, 2, and 3 on glossy paper and a more manageable 48 pages. Indie Comics 2 can be ordered in August's previews catalog under Azer and Publishing, and number 3 will be in October's previews. There is a career tip. Build a circle of friends who create comics. When I have a project that will be right for one of my talented friends, I contact them to see if the money and time frame work for them. Several of these friends have hired me for projects. I built my circle of friends through contact at comic conventions, and once I began Indie Comics Magazine, many contacted me through email. Check out the creators who have been a part of Indie Comics Magazine at IndieComicsMagazine.com. It's a portal to many strange and wonderful things. Hours of free fun. There is another career tip. Networking works. Thanks for dropping by Azer and Publishing Secret Headquarters. Please comment below the video. Tell me what you want to see in future posts. And subscribe. I've already received a lot of great comments from everybody, and I'm going to be working those into future blogs. We'll sign out now with a look at 10 issues of beautiful and disturbing Indie Comics Magazine covers. Thanks!